Okay. Final race of the day. Sandra Evgen and Ulrich Linnemann on the front row from Christopherson and Carlson. McConnell and Michelek at the back. Almost a jump start for Linnemann on the outside, but somehow manages to stick the clutch and keep himself out. McConnell up the inside, can't quite get on the inside of Christopherson. Christopherson on the handbrake early, gets into the door of Linnemann. Enzo Weed runs him indeed. Linnemann surely too wide, lights it up. Oh, Fraser McConnell's got up the inside of everyone in turn two. Christopherson in the door, about three different people into his door as well. Enzo Weed in P2, Christopherson now holding on. Fraser McConnell is out front here and will be desperate to hold on to that smoke for the back of Christopherson. He got beaten up again in turn one, Hal. Such amazing composure from Fraser McConnell to, to keep his head. And uh, Sandra Evans is going to take the joker early. He, he knows there's no really slow cars behind. Gone wide, got it, he's got it sorted. Get the power down, get out of the joker. But Fraser McConnell, brilliant, brilliant set of first couple of corners to get out in the lead. And Pops, he, is, he is exactly where he needs to be. Pops the car up over those two crests coming down the straight. Now Christopherson closed the gap down to it. Now what's interesting here is whether or not he wants to respond to Evgen. I don't think he will because Evgen's right back there now with Michelak. And I just think don't go yet. Look at Christopherson. Now he's hunting him big time. I don't think McConnell will go yet. They won't want to give Christopherson clear air. That's been such a, a big deal in the World Championship for the last few years. And in Julius last season. Don't give Christopherson clear air. McConnell needs to stay out front, keep his head over. Christopherson jokers. Christopherson goes jokers. Deep in on the polo, lovely job, rotates it round. Where's he going to come out in the traffic? Going to try and get around the outside of Evgen. I reckon that's to cover off Sonder Evgen. Now going to try and get up the inside of Ulrich Linneman. Linneman's wild as he comes over the bridge. Christopherson passes him to the right. Is he going to have a look to the left on the brakes now, down the end of the straight? And this might be the problem. Michelak might hold them up. If I were Frazzi's team, I'd be tempted to send him now, Hal. Christopherson trying to find a way through. If he can't get past Michelak, that might give Fraser the, the space he needs to go now. Christopherson popping the polo off the limiter over those two jumps down the big hill down the back. I think you're right. The, the, uh, McConnell's got two of the most experienced spotters oh. in the business. I think they're calm enough to know what to do. Michelak, uh, Michelak. He's been released him. He's released him. So now Christopherson can close gap down again. To that's irrelevant. This is about McConnell versus Christopherson. And this time last year, they would have had Anders Michelak in an OMSE car and they could have held him out to hold Christopherson back. That's not the case anymore. Anders Carlson's still, he's in no man's land a bit now, isn't he, Carlson? Christopherson's going to pop over the top of the hill. Jurek Linneman's obviously had more problems and he's just behind him. But McConnell is going to joke on the last lap. This is going to be really close. Oh, if Anders oh mistake! Makes, Carlson runs wide! This is going to harm Christopherson even more. This is what McConnell needs. Here we go then, Fraser McConnell now. Christopherson going to try and find a way past Carlson. In the straight, Fraz dips the Jamaican coloured car into the right hander. Oh, and he's in front of Christopherson. Fraser McConnell coming around the long right hander. Brilliant drive in the first couple of corners now. They'll be going mad over in Jamaica, down towards the last couple of corners. How far back is Christopherson? Christopherson was so close in those first couple of turns. He's super tidy on the exit there. This time last year at Nisum, he took his first podium in the supercar class. And now he's going to take his first win. Fraser McConnell wins round one of the Nordic Rally X Series. Yannick Christopherson, P2. Brilliant chase from him. Couldn't quite get near enough. Yes, 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 one, let's, let's go. Ah, oh, look how pleased he is. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> making yeah, flag yeah, on the helmet. Yeah, I love my country, I love my people. Brilliant, absolutely yes. brilliant. <laughs> yes, <laughs> give it the bolt. Jamaican flag on the lid, Jamaican flag on the car. The Jamaican sponsors as well. We know the whole of the Caribbean's watching. Fraser McConnell, this time, at Nisim last year, you got your first podium. Now you've got your first win in supercar against the reigning World Rallycross champion. Big up! Big up, guys. I mean, this is unreal. It's sinking in right now. The quality of these drivers are incredible, but the level of OMSC is on a different level. We, we never gave up. Um, the pace was up and down all day. I mean, I was giving it everything I can. Andreas is spotting me. Um, and I'm with the best team in the world. I'm racing for the best country in the world. Big up, everybody. <laughs> Amazing, mate. I know you've worked really hard to get the budget together for this. We know you're looking to complete Nordic and that later on this year, I know you'd like to head across and do Nitro Rallycross as well. So this is the perfect start for all your sponsors, isn't it, that you've worked so hard to get together, Fraz? Yeah, man, for sure. I mean, I'm rocking new Puma suit. Pretty fitted. I mean, burrito on the sleeves, um, true shake, sandals. Everyone that's come on board is crazy. Walk around the car with me, come.
We have Ryan Max Lubricants, <laughs> Barita, Rainforest. Dirtfish is giving me some media support, which is amazing. Um, just started with them in Rallycross. The famous Uncle Sal. Um, believe that. that is Remax just, just, just going to fix and the rear of the car there. <laughs> aerodynamics, but I mean, no. The support that I get is, I can't tell you how much it means to me and how how far it can take me in the sport. And every every sponsor, no matter how small, is is um, worth every penny. So. I'm trying to make them proud, and I, think, I hope they should be happy with this one. Mate, I think there's a whole country that's proud of you at home. You go and enjoy this, get yourself some rest, ready for tomorrow. Well done. Congratulations on your first supercar win. Thanks, guys.